The leopard seal is three meters long. It's almost got a reptilian appearance with its quite sinister smile. It's difficult to know what the reaction of the leopard seal is going to be until you're in the water with them. I'm Freddie DeVass and I've been making wildlife films for about 15 years now. For the Antarctica episode for Seven Worlds, One Planet, we really wanted to document the struggle that young penguins undertake when they take their first ever swim. They waddle down to the sea and then have to dive into these incredibly cold waters. But there's one place where it's particularly challenging. And that's because this one bay in Sierra Vaca Cove is surrounded by glaciers. And the glaciers are carving at the end of summer, beginning of autumn. And so the bay fills up with blocks of ice, which are incredibly dangerous for these penguins to navigate through. But in addition to that, they have to face their nemesis. The leopard seal is three meters long. It's enormous. It's almost got a reptilian appearance with its quite sinister smile and it can open its mouth incredibly wide. So it's quite a terrifying predator if you think about it from the perspective of a small gentoo penguin. The seals are practicing their hunting skills. So there's this one short window in the year when loads of penguin chicks are coming to the water and taking their first ever swim. So the leopard seal is hunting one, catching one, and they may not even eat it before it hunts another one, catches it, and then eventually comes around to eating them later on. But for the chicks, it means that the leopard seal is actively hunting so much of the time. It must be really quite frightening for them. We had this incredible team filming the behavior. We had one camera operator capturing the behavior from a drone, another one based on the shore, filming the penguins on land and then as they went into the sea. And then our third camera operator was diving in the water with these leopard seals and with the Gentoo penguins. The water is filled with blocks of ice and so it's very hard to know when there's a leopard seal around or not. So that's why we had a camera operator that could launch the drone and just scan the sea to see if there were any leopard seals hunting at that time. Then the other two camera operators were informed and the one on the land would try and pick up each time the leopard seal popped its head above the water. And then the one in the boat jumped into these incredibly cold waters often just one degree Celsius, and started swimming in the direction of the leopard seal. That's quite a terrifying thing to do, but this camera operator is really experienced and has dived with leopard seals before. When you're diving in the polar regions, you have to consider so many things. It's not only an endurance of the body, but it's all about remaining tranquil and calm and zen-like in the water to really able to capture those amazing images. It's difficult to know what the reaction of the leopard seal is going to be until you're in the water with them. Each individual reacts to the crew in a totally different way. One of the leopard seals was very curious and came up right up to the camera operator and had a look around wondering, I imagine, what the camera operator was. It was another one of these shoots where they were there for weeks before they captured their first ever hunt. When we're filming predation events, it's always difficult. The leopard seal also has to eat and the leopard seal has to feed its young. Sometimes the penguins get away and then that feels great. And sometimes they toy with them and the penguins don't get away. And that's really tough. But our job is to document what's going on down there. Both the sort of wonderful moments of the natural world, but also some of the tougher moments so that we've got a much better understanding of the animal world. 
The seal seems to be toying with this penguin. But safety is in sight. For all of us working on the Antarctic episode, we were really keen to show just how resilient the animals in that region are. For the Gen 2 penguin chicks, they showed incredible tenacity at keeping going, trying to get to the open ocean beyond all that ice, beyond the leopard seals. And that's really what I find remarkable watching that sequence over and over again is just how resilient the animals are in such tough conditions. The ice flow is near the open ocean. But this penguin is exhausted. When I first saw the footage of the face-off, I couldn't really believe it. I just thought, why doesn't the leopard seal launch towards the penguin and grab it? But actually, the penguin's beak is very sharp. And if it was to get the leopard seal in the eye or in a sensitive place in the face, that would be a very bad decision on the leopard seal's behalf. Perhaps it's not worth it after all. It's very poignant because record high temperatures are being observed in the Antarctic Peninsula in the last few years. And what we're seeing is that the glaciers are carving at a faster rate than has ever been seen before. Way more ice is now piling into the water and making it very difficult for these gentoo chicks to fledge. So their first swim is not just getting into cold water, but it's getting into water where there's these big blocks of ice getting in their way which could crush them and is also providing cover for the leopard seal. It was really important to show just how spectacularly beautiful the continent is. Also, how tough it is for animals to survive in such a remote and hostile environment. But very importantly, I wanted to show just how fragile the continent is as well. For me, working on a program about Antarctica, it was essential to talk about climate change. The polar regions are feeling climate change a lot more than most other regions around the world. The Antarctic Peninsula is one of the regions that has warmed the most around the world than any other region on Earth. And what we're seeing is that ice all over the continent is melting. And with that, we're going to get sea levels rising, but we're also going to see huge problems for the wildlife living in the region. Polar animals are extremely well adapted to living in extreme environments. But what they're not adapted to is to react to the changes that are happening so fast because of climate change. <laughs>